how do you charge your equipment? Uh, that's probably one of the most common questions I get asked by, asked by other people that are interested in uh, starting an all-electric lawn service or converting you know, their existing business to uh, all-electric. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. You can see here uh, in the corner of our box truck that we've got all of our uh, chargers, our various batteries, uh, our power supplies. Uh, you know, I've just uh, installed all of those in, uh, in this same corner. Um, and at the beginning, uh, when we started, uh, you know, it was much more simple. I just, ha I just ran a couple of extension cords, uh, one to charge the mower and then one to charge uh, all of my handheld equipment. And that was sufficient. Uh, as we've grown these last couple of years and we've gotten more batteries and we've uh, used our mower more, uh, we've had to increase the capacity. Um, but it's basically still the same idea. Uh, you can see we've got all of our chargers here. Uh, we've got it all wired in uh, and coming out of the truck. Uh, another thing that we've added uh, is that we've uh, put also put timers in place uh, so that we're not charging all of our batteries at one time uh, because that can become an issue. Uh, you know, I, I used to charge three, four, five, six uh, small handheld batteries at one time. And I started having issues with the extension cords getting very hot. Um, you know, I, I even had some plugs mailed on me, uh, which is never a good thing. That's a big fire hazard. And it was just drawing too much, too much uh, off of that one circuit. So what I did is I just, a simple solution is I just purchased timers. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, a few of these uh, will charge uh, right when I plug it in. And then the other ones are timed to put to come on after those are charged. So uh, you're never charging more than two, three, four batteries at one time. Uh, the mower has a dedicated circuit, so it's, it's on its own circuit because it requires a lot more. Uh, uh, you know, so I, I've got all the handheld stuff on one circuit and then the mower on another. Um, this mower, at first, when we were just starting out and we didn't have many lawns, you know, maybe we were cutting 10 or 12 lawns a day at the most. Uh, uh, just plugging it into a standard, uh, you know, 100, uh, 110 volt uh, outlet was sufficient. Um, but as we've grown and we're cutting more bat more more yards and we've uh, been depleting the battery every day, it draws a lot more current. Uh, so we've had to put in a special dedicated 30 amp uh, breaker for it, and it still uh, runs off of 110. Uh, they do have an option to put in a 220, which will charge it much faster and be more efficient. Uh, it's just, we, you know, where we're at, uh, we're kind of at a temporary space as far as the shop. I didn't want to invest that much money uh, in, you know, putting in that kind of system. Um, but you can see, uh, you know, it's just very simple. I've got my wires ran out to one part of the truck. You could also do this with your enclosed trailer. Um, and you can come around outside here. And you can see I've just got both of those circuits coming out of out of the truck. I've got my 115 here that's wired in. That's uh, charging all my handheld equipment, my all my Ego equipment. And then I've got uh, it's just an RV RV plug. Uh, you know, I think it's rated at 30 amps, 30 or 40 amps. Uh, this RV cord is 25 foot, and they both just run over here to you know the 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 wires that I ran here to the shop. Um, so I've got the one for the for the mower and then you know our other circuit here um so like i said you know if you're just starting out you really just need an outside outlet i, I ran it like this for the first year and a half uh, off of my old house i just uh backed the box truck up to the in the driveway and plugged into you know standard heavy duty extension cords and that was sufficient like i said as we've grown uh, you know, it, I started to get a lot of issues charging the mower, you know, off of one of those cords just because they're not they're not made to handle that kind of uh, uh, You know current running through them and amperage uh, when the battery is fully depleted so You know a lot of other guys have a solar set up and a battery bank set up uh, That's the ultimate way to go and we'd uh, that's what, what we'd eventually like to do um, You know, I, I hope to be able to install some solar panels and put a battery bank uh, on this shelf at some point in the near future just because that'll help with a lot of our charging needs um, and reduce a lot of our a lot of our electricity cost um, and it just also make it a lot easier to charge batteries on the go um, that's another question I get a lot uh, from guys that are interested is that uh, you know what do you do if your batteries run out while you're out you know out working 
well well one if it's the mower uh then your day is over uh but like i said we we that's that's only happened once and we typically get 20 to 25 yards uh, on one charge uh, but if it's the handheld equipment you know right now the, if, if we have to do that we either have to charge at a you know a customer's house which i don't like to do or we have a little power inverter here and i've got some older batteries that are pretty high capacity and i just use that inverter to to plug in the chargers uh, and charge the batteries on the go um, but it doesn't happen often but you know it does happen and, and if we had a battery bank in place and a solar setup you know we could charge you know an endless amount of batteries and never have to you know plug into uh, a customer's house or anywhere else um there are some other nice benefits that come uh, with using electric you know especially when you're out working uh you know we can use this inverter and we can use our batteries to run the lights on the truck uh, we can use it to run equipment, uh, you know, if we need to run some kind of electrical equipment. Uh, if I need to run an air pump to pump up tires, if I need to, you know, run a saw or something like that. You know, there's just a lot of things that you can do out in, out in the field that, you know, that would be helpful if you had some a source of electricity. Um, but that's, uh, that's how we charge our equipment. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You know, in the future, uh, we will get a debt, you know, when we grow and, and next early next year when we add a, ne a second crew. Uh, we'll add a dedicated, you know, 220 uh, just to charge our mowers. And we'll, you know, a as we grow, our, our setup will get more and more, uh, a little bit more complicated and, you know, heavier duty. Um, but just starting out, like I said, don't you don't need to stress about it. You know, all you need is a couple drop cords and, you know, that you're, you're pretty much good to go in the beginning. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like our video, and, and uh, we always appreciate any feedback.